Hello everyone, and welcome to another information technology lesson. In today's lesson, we will be looking at databases. Our objective for this lesson is to create a blank Microsoft Office Access database. When we decide to create a blank Microsoft Office Access database, we will be using the Office icon. We will click on it. So we'll be looking at creating the um, database by using the Office icon. We click on it, and then we would search the list for the file that we're looking for or the application that we're looking for. In this case, where we're going to be looking for access on the Microsoft Office 2013. We click on the drop down button and then we look for access 2013. But a quick way of doing this is to simply go to the taskbar, which is the bar at the bottom of your screen. And where it says type here to search, just simply type access. And the version that you want to use will come up. In this case, I'm going to be using Access 2013. So I click on it to open the software. Now, whenever you open Microsoft Office Access, this is how the window looks. In this case, we are interested in the blank desktop database. In some versions of Access, it will simply say blank database. We click on it. Then this box comes up where it says file name. Today, we're going to be creating a database called Bookstore. So we type Bookstore. You could simply go ahead and click on the Create button. However, this will create your database in a Documents folder. If you are not planning on creating your database in a Documents folder, then you must tell the computer where you plan to save that database. And in order to do that, you will need to click on this icon, which looks like an open folder. Once you click on it, another dialog box or window will come up called the File New Database window. You navigate using the vertical bar on the left-hand side of the window and look for or navigate to the folder or drive that you wish to save your file. In this case, I will be saving my file in the Documents folder in a folder called IT Video Lessons. I'm going to double click on that folder and I had a previous file stored there. So I'm going to call my bookstore. I'm going to save it. I'm going to click OK. And it's going to ask me if I want to, but it didn't ask me. But once you have done that, you click on the Create icon and it says, do you want to replace existing file? I'll say yes. If you did not have a file there with the same name previously, it will not ask you that. It will simply go ahead and create the database. So in this case, because I had a previous file called Bookstore, I'm going to overwrite it by saying yes. All right, so it's asking me to enter a different name. So I'll just create one that is called Bookstore 1. And then just click Create. And there we have our blank database. Now, whenever you create a blank database in Microsoft Office Access, it always comes up with a default table called table one. But we will be looking at how to create tables in our next lesson.